ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hello, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. I want to welcome each and every one of you. If you are new to this channel, I am Maxine. I am a mouthpiece, praise God, standing in the office of a prophet in the mighty name of Jesus, ordained by God. I speak what the Holy Spirit tells me in the mighty name of Jesus because I'm an obedient vessel, praise God, and I'm going to do what God tells me to do. Hallelujah. One thing about this platform is that I'm going to stand on the word of God. You're going to see my growth in God just as you are growing in God. We are all growing growing in God. So this platform is all about getting to know God, getting to know God as greater. See, God is magnificent and he is ever evolving. Why is that? Because there are so many mysteries in God, but he will unfold and expose those mystery, mysteries to those who are close to him. So therefore the Bible teaches us that when we draw near to God, he will draw near to us and he will begin to show us some things that we've never seen before. He will begin to have us to explore some things we've never even thought to explore. He he will have us to begin assignments that we never even thought were ours. He will have us to stand in places that we never even thought we would stand, praise God, because God is God and he's a big God and he thinks largely, hallelujah. That means that our thoughts cannot never measure up to his thoughts. His thoughts are always greater. His mind is always greater. His love is always greater, hallelujah. So when we give him glory, honor, and praises, it is well worth it in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you understand? Hallelujah. Choose to serve the Lord. Lord today. Choose to be a part of the body of Christ today. Hallelujah. Because that is where life is. In the body of Christ, it's life more abundantly. In the body of Christ, you are more than a conqueror. In the body of Christ, you have the promises of Moses. You have the promises of Abraham. You have the promises of Isaac. In the body of Christ, praise God. Hallelujah. You have the promises of Jesus Christ who fulfilled the law. You have the promises in your hand. Hallelujah. So I pray that each and every one of you, hallelujah, are blessed today knowing that you are a child of God that you have chosen the correct bright light living side hallelujah you have chosen the winning team praise God you have chosen rightfully hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus I just want to thank you for joining me today to hear this message the message today focuses on relationships and this is what the Lord told me. Hallelujah. He said, hallelujah, that he is healing and restoring relationships. The Lord said he is healing and restoring relationships. What does this mean? Praise God. That means, hallelujah, if you are married, he's going to heal and restore your marriage. Praise God. That means, hallelujah, and I'm talking about God ordained marriages. Let's be clear. All marriages are not from God. Some marriages, hallelujah, are, are positioned by the devil. Some marriages, hallelujah, I'm telling you, counterfeits have come across your path, praise God, and you may have been one to, to be a victim of a counterfeit. Let me say that, a victim of a counterfeit. You are a victim, hallelujah, dating a counterfeit. Do you understand? God has sent you a righteous person, praise God, to be with. But because the counterfeit came, and because the counterfeit seemed about right, you went on with the counterfeit, hallelujah, and that counterfeit delayed you. That counterfeit stole from you. That counterfeit, I'm telling you right now took you down hallelujah down in places that you never thought you would be i'm telling you you were drenched in sadness you were drenched in depression praise god because of this counterfeit hallelujah but the lord is letting you know that you will be restored today the lord is letting you know that you will be healed today that person who is for you hallelujah you didn't miss them you didn't miss her praise god hallelujah the lord has already aligned the steps for you praise god and you will be with that righteous person if you are in a marriage praise god hallelujah ordained by God. Let's get back there. Praise God. The Lord is letting you know if there are some places, some wounds, hallelujah, even for some of you, you're carrying some regrets, but this is a God ordained marriage. Praise God. There's no room for regret in these marriages. Hallelujah. The Lord is letting you know that he is healing places. He is restoring some places in your marriage. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give him some praise y'all. Hallelujah. Amen. Give him some praise. He is restoring in healing marriages, praise God. He is restoring and healing relationships. Hallelujah. 
The Lord is letting us know today, even if you are engaged, you are about to walk down the aisle. You are planning for it, praise God. Hallelujah. That make you know is from God. I'm telling you, everything lines up, praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is still letting you know, praise God. There are some places, hallelujah, that he's going to be healing. There are some places, praise God, that he's going to be restoring. So as you walk down the aisle, just walk it out. Hallelujah. Walk your healing out. Walk your restoration out. Because when he brings this together, praise God, it is going to be the glorifying of him. It is going to be all for him by him in Jesus' mighty name. Understand the position of marriage. Everything belongs to God. Let me say that again. Everything belongs to God. Hallelujah. Even your marriage, even your relationship, it belongs to God. When he brings it forth, he's bringing it forth for him. Let me say that again. He's bringing that wife forth for him. He's bringing that husband forth for him. Praise God. He's bringing you together with him, with her. Praise God for him. There's a mission. There's an assignment that belongs to who? Him in the mighty name of Jesus. And he's calling the two of you forth to accomplish that mission on earth. He's calling the two of you forth. Praise God to complete that assignment on earth. Hallelujah. Understand. Let's not get, um, out of, of, of order in thinking to think that what we are here for is for ourselves in the enjoyment of ourselves. Let's not start to think that we are the ones who are building. No, hallelujah. It is the Holy Spirit that is doing the stirring in you that will, will push you forth to build, that will push you forth, hallelujah, to create, hallelujah, to establish in the mighty name of Jesus, to be productive, hallelujah, to move in that relationship, to have a heart for that person. It's the Holy Spirit stirring in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is letting us know that God is healing. Hallelujah. He is healing and restoring relationships. I know many of you probably have seen that I've been speaking on submission. I've been speaking on praise God. Hallelujah. Women respecting their husbands, husbands loving their wives as themselves. Praise God. I've been speaking on these things because God has placed it on my heart. This is the time that we're going to move in these things. This is the season. Hallelujah. I don't know if y'all know about times and seasons. Praise God. But I know what time it is. Hallelujah. He He's bringing marriages. God ordained marriages together. And the ones that are already together, he's fixing some things in them. He is going to uproot some things that don't belong. These marriages are going to look more like him. There's going to be a fresh love that pours out in, into this marriage. Praise God. They're going to love each other like they have never loved each other before. They thought they loved each other. Hallelujah. Before. Listen to what I'm saying. They thought they loved each other before. But what God is doing during this time, hallelujah, it is going to be a, an amazing, magnificent, powerful love that the Lord is pouring out and it's literally from him hallelujah a love that they've never felt out of this universe why because it is, it is Jesus Christ's love praise God hallelujah I'm excited y'all forgive me hallelujah I am excited all about this word because what the Lord is letting me know praise God and I hope that you understand what time it is is that he's doing a great thing for his people there are going to be so many testimonies of how God turned things around in relationships how God aligned steps hallelujah in relationships how God brought people together in relationships all for himself to do his business to be about his business praise God hallelujah so when we go to Romans chapter 11, let's look at verse 36. It says, for from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. Well, it says for from him, for from him means, praise God, that God created it all. God created you. God created me. Praise God. God created the world. He created the earth. He created everything in it in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, hallelujah, he is the creator. And through him, praise God, hallelujah, that means nothing get past God. Every single thing that is happening, hallelujah, he knows about it. He has an all seeing eye, praise God, hallelujah. What does that mean? He's omniscient. He see everything, praise God, hallelujah. Now, we do have free will to act out. We do have free will to respond to situations, praise God. We know that we were born in sin, so therefore, we have to choose Jesus Christ, hallelujah, to walk that narrow path and to be saved because only Jesus Christ carries salvation, hallelujah. But there are some who are born and they walk out sin and they never get saved hallelujah because they they feel like that there's nothing that Jesus Christ can offer them but they have not gotten to a chance to know Jesus Christ they haven't gotten a chance to know that he is life and life more abundantly that he is salvation that he hallelujah will reconcile us back to the father they haven't gotten to know him yet praise God hallelujah but I pray for every single person who does not know Jesus who does not know God who does not believe in God praise God that they will come on into the fold and get to know Jesus feel his love hallelujah get 
get to know him to the point, praise God, where he show you that he is real. Hallelujah. And when he show you he is real, I promise you, you will never go back on your word. Hallelujah. Of saying, praise God, that he does not exist, that he does nothing for you. Because when you go back, praise God, you're going to be repenting of saying that in the first place. You're going to be repenting. Hallelujah. Because you will know that God is real. You will know that Jesus Christ is real. And the place that he has for you is a good place. And the love he has for you is a good love. Praise God. It never yields. Do you understand? Hallelujah. It doesn't yield to this, this way or that way outside of you. When he loves you, he engulfs you. When he loves you, he overwhelms you. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's no love that just in and out. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know some men and women have loved you and they're in and out. They don't really know if they want this. They don't really know if they're sure. Praise God. They don't really know. Hallelujah. If they can see that themselves with you, but Jesus can see himself with you. Jesus loved you before you loved him. Hallelujah. He knew you in the womb. Praise God. Understand what I'm saying. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sometimes we need to re refocus our mindset and we need to pay more attention to the one who created us. Hallelujah. The one who died for us. Praise God. Hallelujah. The one who dwells in us. We need to pay more attention. Keep our mind on Jesus. Praise God. Keep our mind on God. Keep our mind on the Holy Spirit so that we can be free and free indeed. So the scripture also says it is through him, praise God. So we know that everything is through him. The reason why we're living today is because of God. The reason why we're talking today is because of God. The reason why, hallelujah, we're doing anything is because of God. He still every single day allows us to get up and conduct ourselves in our free will. He does it every single day, hallelujah, waiting on us to choose him, praise God. Waiting on us, hallelujah, to, to just get some sense in our heads, praise God, and become to, to, to love him and to draw closer to him hallelujah to find out more about him genuinely from our hearts praise God this is what the Lord is seeking those who are willing hallelujah those who want to those who want him praise God I'm telling you right now if you don't want him hallelujah he's not just going to jerk you up out of your place and pull you in but when you cry out to him when you want him when your heart desires for him he's going to show up for you in the mighty name of Jesus and here it says and to him are all things hallelujah to him are all things. Every single thing is for God. To him are all things. Everything is given back to him. Everything is a return to him. Do you understand? Hallelujah. So he created it. He knows what's going on. He's waiting on us to freely choose him. He loved us first. There's nothing that we could ever do, praise God, hallelujah, to earn his love, to earn, I'm telling you, the grace, praise God. But we do have to choose Jesus Christ. And then in the end, we go back to him, hallelujah, for those who believe and those who have received Jesus Christ. We go back to him. Where do the others go? Hallelujah. Well, if they never receive him, never choose him, never want anything to do with God, turn their back on God, become stiff necked, guess what? They are headed down damnation road, praise God. Why would... Why would our God send people to hell? God isn't sending anybody to hell, praise God. Uh, uh, Adam and Eve ate the apple. Therefore, sin came upon Adam and Eve. Well, we're the seed of Adam and Eve. So until we choose Jesus Christ, hallelujah, that's the salvation. That's the cleansing. That's when we're renewed, praise God. That's when we're refreshed or renewed my renewed heart. Hallelujah. We are washed clean from the sin of Adam and Eve. Yes, it dates back. So you are born in sin, praise God. And when you choose Jesus Christ, that sin is washed away and you're a brand new creature. So this is where the elevation and the rise and the revelation and the more in God comes from is when you choose Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So being that everything returns to him, everything is for him and by him, hallelujah, and therefore he receives all the glory forever, amen. We are to give him honor, we are to give him respect, we are to give him, hallelujah, the praises, praise God, because all of this is for him and by him, praise God, and if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be. So I'm here to tell you today that the Lord is healing marriages. He's restoring marriages, praise God. And he said to let his people know that this is the season. It's happening now, praise God. It's hot in this car, so I'm getting ready to go, y'all. It is, it is happening in this season right now. And he wants you to know, hallelujah, that what he is doing for you in this time is for him and by him. Hallelujah. Don't get it twisted. Don't think, praise God. You know, he wants you to enjoy your relationships. He wants you to enjoy your marriages. But understand that there is a mission, praise God. Just like Paul, just like Peter, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, just like those disciples in the mighty name of Jesus, 
you have a job to do and the Lord is calling you to your post to do your job and the people he's bringing to you, praise God, they are your destiny helpers. They are your mates for this time, hallelujah, that you are here on earth to do God's business. I pray that you believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Receive your healing today. Receive restoration today, hallelujah. You may say, well, I'm not married yet. I haven't met anybody yet. Receive your healing today. Receive your restoration today, hallelujah. But hallelujah, because all of us in the mighty name of Jesus who will be walking with anyone, praise God, that God has ordained for us. Hallelujah. We need the healing. We need the restoration. We need the hand of God on our lives and on our marriages in Jesus' mighty name. Believe it and receive it. Hallelujah. God is truth. He is love. He is righteous. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. And we thank you so mightily for this word. We are so honored to be here in your presence, oh Father God. May your word resound in the land and may everyone glorify you in Jesus' mighty name. All right, y'all be blessed. Love you with the love of Christ and know that God is healing and restoring marriages in Jesus name. Amen. Bye y'all. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to